Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on your iPhone. Alright, so let's begin with the video. This app is a great tool for securing your accounts through two-factor authentication. So first, you need to install the Microsoft Authenticator app. Head over to the App Store on your iPhone, search for Microsoft Authenticator and install it. Once the app is installed, open it. When the app opens for the first time, you'll be prompted to accept the terms of use. Click the Accept button. You will also see an option to share your usage data with Microsoft if you choose to do so. This is optional and can be toggled on or off. After that, click Continue to proceed. Now you'll be presented with a few different options for setting up your accounts. You can sign in with your Microsoft account, add a work or school account, or add a third-party accounts like Google, Facebook, or any other website that supports two-factor authentication. If you don't want to add an account right away, you can click Skip, which will take you to the main interface of the app. Now that you're on the home page, click on the Add Account option, which is typically shown as a blue button. Select your account type, and you'll be then asked to enter your email address. Followed by your password after entering these details, Microsoft may ask you to verify your identity. This could involve entering a recovery email address or phone number associated with your account. Microsoft will send you a verification code to the method you select and enter the code exactly as it appears to confirm your login. Once verified, you'll see an option to enable autofill for passwords, so you can skip this. Now that you've successfully signed into your Microsoft account, click Finish. Your account is now added to the Microsoft Authenticator app. From this point on, whenever you log into your Microsoft account on a new device, you'll receive a notification on your iPhone. You can tap on a notification to open the app and approve the login request. If your iPhone has Face ID or a passcode, your app will prompt you to use it as an additional layer of security. Now let's work through adding another account. The process is similar for most websites, and we'll use Discord for this tutorial. Open a Discord app or website and go to the account settings. Look for the security or two-factor authentication section in your profile settings. Most websites will require you to re-enter your password to proceed with setting up two-factor authentication. After doing that, you'll be presented with a QR code or a key. Go back to the Microsoft Authenticator app and tap the plus button in the top right corner. From here, choose the option to add a third-party account. The app will ask for permission to use your camera. Once you've granted permission, points the camera at the QR code displayed on Discord. If you are unable to scan the QR code for some reason, you can also manually enter the key by tapping the option to do so. In that case, you'll need to type in the website name and sticky provided by the websites to complete the process. Once the account is added, the app will display a six-digit code that rotates every 30 seconds. Copy this code and return to the website where you're setting up two-factor authentication. Paste the code into the required field to confirm and activate two-factor authentication for that account. Many websites, including Discord, will offer you the option to download backup codes as an additional security measure in case you lose access to the Authenticator app. It's a good idea to download and store these codes somewhere safe. Now, every time you log into Discord, you need to open the Microsoft Authenticator app. Copy the code that appears under your Discord account and enter it to log in. So that's basically how you can set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on your iPhone. So that's all for this video. Consider subscribing if you find it helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.